Alright guys, welcome to the video today. So in this video, I wanted to talk about Striker Titan, and even though it may seem like something like a Sunbreaker may be a little bit of a better option for 6v6, um, why personally, I still prefer Striker. One quick side note is that I know a lot of you guys like watching my videos purely for sniping gameplay, so in order to kind of satisfy that crowd, I was playing doubles earlier today, and I got a lot of really nice clips when I was playing with Inspire, so I'm going to go ahead and include those at the very end of the video, and if you don't want to, you know, watch this video for the, for the meaty portion of it, then I'll just include a timestamp either in the description or put it on the screen for um, basically the time of when the clips start. I'm going to play them once the video is completely over. Um, but with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so Striker Titan has been my favorite class, like hands down to play in pretty much anything other than 3v3. I feel like with me, I tend to get a little bit antsy with it and I play really, really aggressive. So for me, if I'm you know running around shoulder charging and skating at everyone pretty much blindly half the time, I pay the price for that really heavily in something like 3v3. You have a lot of smart Titan players that play 3v3 and obviously have a lot of success with it. I'm like Frost and Gabe and all those people. But for me, when I'm playing it, my mentality is just running straight at people. And I've gotten a little bit better at it, but for the most part, I'm still pretty wild and pretty uncontrollable with exactly what I'm going to do. And I kind of have to work on that considering it's really important in 4v4 zone control to not push past that halfway mark or else you're going to split spawns or, or, or flip spawns rather and, and you kind of end up getting screwed in the end. But for me, there's a lot going on in 4v4. You have objectives, you have a lot of different angles to worry about considering when you're on a zone, you're, you're going to be looking at one direction where you're getting shot from and there's so many different flanks where you can you know grab with something like a Titan. That's also another thing. If you're you know able to skate around really fast, you can go to the left super fast, you can go to the right. You can pretty much pick and choose any angle you want to engage at for most of the time because you can get there really, really fast and without much of a penalty considering I don't really get caught while I'm trying to run left or right. For me, it just it works out super well. There's a lot of chaos in pretty much anything other than 3v3 and 4v4 and up. It's really hard to tell exactly what's going on and it's kind of comparable to PvE where you have a lot of different sounds going on where you have people shooting, shotguns co you know, coming out, uh, supers being activated, melees going off, all that sort of stuff. And for me, like when I'm playing and I'm shoulder charging to skate around everywhere, it's really easy for, you know, especially with the lenient radar that we have in Destiny right now, if, if you hear a Titan smash or, you know, a shoulder charge going off and you just look on your radar, it's going to tell you exactly where they're coming from and exactly what they're doing. And with a little bit more of a passive meta, it's a lot easier to just float above or float above a, a doorway. And um, it's really easy to kill me that way if I'm just floating around with a Titan pretty much aimlessly um, and super, super aggressively. So for this, it's really hard to kind of tell where they're coming from. And I find myself shooting at people that aren't exactly looking directly at me a lot when I'm playing Titan. Obviously, you're still going to be shooting at people who aren't looking at you with a class like a Warlock or a Hunter, um, but I notice myself getting a lot more sneaky angles with my Titan, running up mid-bridge where people don't expect me. I get one person off spawn, they didn't expect it, and then I get guns off B. Just stuff like that happens a lot more often when I'm playing Striker Titan, not to mention the grenades. How good is the lightning grenade for 6v6? It is hands down the best grenade, at least in my opinion, in the game for anything other than 3v3, especially when you have objectives involved, where you know that people, it literally, it literally is telling you when you look at the map and it's saying, there are people on A throw a grenade on A and you're going to get kills. And if you don't get kills, you're getting 122 damage on one person. And that's going to kill them with one headshot from your palindrome or Ice Luna. Um, you're going to snipe people from that distance with a matador. Um, and uh, you know, additionally, if you have any teammates that are near them, it makes them really easy to kill as well. Um, so, so lightning grenades, I think are hands down. That's not really debatable. And pretty much anyone who's been playing this game for for at least you know a month or, or you know obviously longer than that is going to know that lightning grenades are some of the strongest grenades in the game. I think they do need to patch them. People are saying you need to nerf them. The only thing I want is um, you know even though I do play striker is to make the visual on the cone actually accurate because if I'm going to get hit from Africa. I want to know that I'm going to get hit by Africa. Like I don't want to inch towards a spot where I think I'm safe only to figure out where that or only to figure out that that spot isn't safe if you understand what I'm saying. So most of the time when I'm kind of upset by it, I'm like it's not like I I, I thought that, you know, it's like, oh, how did it tag me from there? I would have escaped or or whatever. It's just like I kind of put myself in a position where I think I'm safe. 
after I see the lightning grenade go off and then I just kind of randomly get hit by it. Um, kind of kind of swerving away from that rant. Um, but moving on to the melee, the melee is also super, super good. Obviously not the strongest thing for, for a 4v4 or an objective variant. It's not really anything stronger than you see on another class, um, but, but definitely having, you know, 150, 160 damage on one melee, as well as instant health regen on it, is, um, is really nice to have. And I, I really love it. I don't have the upgrade right now because if you guys are unaware, I deleted my Titan for the longest time. Recently made a new one, so Striker isn't exactly completely leveled up, but I'm still having a good time with it. And I can assure you, um, once I get the upgrade, I'm going to be regening melees or regening health on my melee a ton, and it's going to be beautiful. Branching off into the specific subject of actual spawn timers, there's a bit of an issue right now with zone control where the spawn timers aren't able to be manipulated so you can't make it so the spawn delay is a little bit larger than it is right now and with the spawn delay that we have currently it's really easy to kind of spawn up after you die throw a body on b and then you know die and, and keep in rinsing and repeating and that makes it really hard for people to capture a zone after you've captured it first so if you get first cap and you have titans just running back and forth to the zone uh, defending it with their shotgun their melee their super their speed just to throw their body on the zone to neutralize it and slow down that cap that's obviously a super valuable piece for the team um, the main ones coming in the form of you know being able to get up there quick and shotgunning and as well as having some of the best close quarter melees as well as the best close quarter super there's a lot of times where you know if you have a super and people are capping b even if you run up and, and you know you don't get the smash on all three or four people it doesn't really matter because you know even if you kill one or two that's guaranteed to shatter or, or splatter or spread a few people what are you even saying it's guaranteed to spread a few people off the zone and, and it's really easy to get picked off from the side from there so it, it pretty much guarantees a wipe on the zone if you're smart with it and if you hit it correctly um, but just the whole entire setup I think the striker has going for it makes it a little bit better than Sunbreaker if you get really nasty with the hammers like I know inspire is really good with hammers um, if you start hitting them and you're getting you know three to four super kills every single time you pop it then yeah it's probably a little bit better for you to run Sunbreaker you obviously have to be really talented with the nades as well a lot of people like using stickies and I understand that stickies are broken in a sense um, you know that they're easy to use but at the end of the day if you get really good with um, place on incendiaries that's going to carry you a lot further in a competitive setting than I think stickies will um, that's just my opinion strikers is my preference obviously you're entitled to disagree with me another thing I wanted to announce is I've officially gotten partnered or, or sponsored by scuff if you want a 5% discount on all controllers at purchase or at checkout then all you have to do is enter my code sir Demetrius it's the same exact spelling as my PSN and my YouTube so if you want to learn how to spell it I'll have it in the description as well as a link to their website um, so you know I haven't ever imagined this happening I didn't imagine any success on YouTube so the fact that I, I can let alone afford a scuff and then now are am somehow partnered with them that's pretty crazy to me but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and now it's time to roll the sniper clips I hope to see you guys in my next video peace Die for one.